Hi guys, Mark from Frostbite Furniture here again. Uh, it's been kind of a busy uh, few days in the shop here. We've been trying to get going on all of our stuff for our first really big craft show of the year. We're going to be at Land and Loon next weekend. Uh, it's in Virginia, Minnesota. And uh, if you're going to be around, stop by and see us there. But uh, first, I, I thought I would just give you a little bit of a taste of what it's like around here as we get ready for a big show like that. Uh, I'll show you a couple things and if you don't mind a bumpy ride, uh, you'll probably get, the, get a little bit of a tour of the shop while we're at it. Uh, first off, we got our laser going, uh, been going non-stop almost all night long here, uh, right up until we go to bed. I was up till after midnight last night uh, before I could come and take one off and shut it, shut it down again and uh, got some another uh, set of stuff going on the laser first thing in the morning. Uh, it does a really neat job, but it's not exactly the quickest machine. I'll uh, give you a little look right here. You can see what's going on. See if it goes back and forth. Uh, what we're making at the moment in here is a top for a laser etched stool. The one that's currently on there is uh, another one just like this. It's got some monkeys on there. Uh, a lot of kids like to monkey around, so we thought monkeys would be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got uh, some uh, dinosaurs because uh, kids like dinosaurs, so we thought that would be a pretty good stool. Um, this little uh, fishing guy. Uh, a few others here. Uh, what else? We got one here that'd be uh, just perfect for a uh, young kid to use uh, as a step stool in the bathroom. You know, they got the kind of the toothbrush, the soap, the sink, uh, because that's what a lot of these little step stools get used for is for kids in the bathroom. Well, let's go for a little uh, tour here. We'll see what happens. See if we can uh, make her down the steps without any big problems as we go for a tour. Let's see how this goes. See, we'll go down the steps, turn the light, but it's still pretty dark for you guys. The first place we'll go to, we've all been in here before, but we'll show you the C, C and C room. Just a moment. Whoa. We've got a lot of stuff in the way down here because we've got a lot going on. Down here, we've got the C and C working. Uh, it is making curtain boards at the moment. I don't know how well you can see the holes and the, as it cuts there. Uh, it will continue to cut these holes and it cuts some little lines. Uh, cuts another set of lines all the way around the outside. It ends up looking like this. Uh, the next step after it leaves here is once I get a batch of them, I'll take the bandsaw and I'll cut out the oval all the way around. We'll sand, give it a last sand and then we'll bring it upstairs and put it in the laser and we'll etch an image on here, uh, maybe uh, like a moose, or we might do like a little, you know, picture picture of a map of the state of Minnesota, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, we'll have a few things like this available at all times, uh, but we can also custom do this stuff uh, for any need that anybody would like. Let's go over to the main part of the shop, and we'll see what's going on in there. We got a lot going on in here. We'll stop by over here where Jen is working and uh, we'll see what she's got going on. What do you got going on, Jen? I'm putting... You want to step down so we can... <laughs> I'm putting a Craig jig, or using the Craig jig to put holes in some bracing that we're going to use for our two step stools. Yeah, uh, here, can I show them one of the pieces? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what that jig does is it cuts an angled hole at the bottom that later we can go back and put a screw into it. And from there, we can use these. Uh, we cut these sides on the CNC yesterday. Take these apart like this. And, uh, nah, there we go. These get screwed together like this with a hole come, or a screw coming in on the inside of each of these. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. With a yeah. screw coming in like this, 
Uh, and then there'll be another one here, and uh, there ends up being four of these braces on each of the stools with a step on top here, and another one down on the second level here. So as you can see from the side, it's a nice little two-step stool. And the Craig jig is a, a nice way to do this. We used to do it with a, a bracket, but that ended up adding to our cost of the things and, uh, because we had to buy the bracket, or but the screw is a lot cheaper. And I think it actually does a better job anyhow. It makes for a little more stable, uh, stable stool and yeah, so it's better for everybody that way. We'll go uh, check out over here and see what uh, Missy is up to. She's slaving away over in the, cor the other corner on the assembly table. You're going to have to excuse Missy. She can't exactly talk right now because she was busy uh, teaching canoeing at day camp for Cub Scouts this week. And she had to yell at kids that were out in the uh, lake and kind of lost her voice a little bit. So Missy, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> yeah, she can't speak a whole lot right now. Well, uh, Missy, you want to show them what you got going on here? We're making these little things. We're calling them our uh, our kind of antique fidget spinners. Uh, those of you that uh, maybe saw the picture I had posted yesterday, this is what was on there. Uh, nobody was able to guess it. Uh, we had a few good guesses, but nobody quite got it. What they do is they're kind of a toy. Excuse me, miss. And you spin them around, and then you can kind of Work them back and forth. And it seems kind of uh, weird and kooky, but it's kind of addicting too. And uh, I don't know, you think it's fun? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you think everybody should have one, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's our little sales rope. So uh, the other thing we got going on, uh, we got uh, some cedar that is for kind of ready to go for some smaller cribbage boards. Uh, some pine that'll be for some other small cribbage boards. Legs. Yep, we got uh, for the <coughs> laser etched stools we're doing upstairs, we got the legs uh, kind of roughed out. We still need to run them through the router and uh, maybe give them a final sand. And another little thing we've been doing this year, it's going to be a new addition, is we got boomerangs. Uh, that ought to be a lot of fun at a craft show. Uh, when they come off the CNC, uh, they're kind of fuzzy. Like this, I don't know how well you can see. And uh, they have these little tabs. You can just barely see them. Let's see. This one's back on. Yeah. This one has a little bigger tab. Uh, and that's part of kind of the manufacturing process with them on the CNC. It helps uh, hold it to the piece that it's getting cut out of and keeps them from flying around the room. So then I need to take these and put them on the router, on like the regular on the router table. Uh, to kind of smooth them off to this. I'll give you guys a quick look at what that's like as I do one of them. Okay. So we go down like this. And this can get loud guys, so we flip it on. And then this is what they look like. So they come off, it takes all that fuzz off. From here, they're gonna go over to the wide belt sander. We're gonna put kind of a, it's called an airfoil, I believe, it basically little angles on it. So that way when you throw it, it does what a boomerang is supposed to do. It spins around and then it comes roughly back to you. Well, that's just a little uh, taste of what we got going on in the shop this week as we get ready for the Land of the Loon and some other craft shows coming up. Uh, we're uh, going to be at Land of the Loon for sure. We are debating possibly going to, uh, there's a show at the back of the 50s car show down in the cities uh, the following weekend. We're thinking about trying to get into that 
Uh, we were supposed to do it and then we weren't sure, but now we think we might give it a shot again. So if you're down there, uh, look us up there and uh, maybe uh, you can pick up some uh, toys here or a little, some stools or a table or any of the other goodies. Uh, we have a few other goodies that we're going to have at the show that we didn't have time to show you right now. Uh, mo mainly because they're not one of the things we're actually making at this exact moment. Uh, so, well, this will give you a little taste of what it's like as we prep for a show and kind of the busyness that ensues that. I gotta get back to work, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.